in today's Crime Stopper Spotlight, Domestic Violence Awareness Day. It's going to be observed on Thursday of this week. We have Stacy Payne in with the East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers. Stacy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And we know this is an issue really in every community. Sometimes it goes unnoticed by others. We're going to go over some resources and whatnot in a minute, but let's go over how common this is first. Sadly, it is way too common. And it, what we have discovered is girls between 18 and 24 seem to be you know, having the most common occurrences of domestic violence. There's a lot of warning signs out there. And as we see from these information here, one in three women and one in three or one in four men have experienced some sign of domestic violence wow. in their life. Way and, too common here. And we're looking at a nationwide number, over 20,000 calls a day to the domestic violence hotline. It, it's, it's sad. And additionally to that, you know, we also talk about the cost of domestic violence, of course, to the victims. It's quite more than the dollar value, but we're looking at $8.3 billion per year. And that's, you know, when you add up the cost of first responders, school counselors, things like that. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is a huge issue. Medical care, yeah. counseling, everything. And, and it's something that, so if, if you think it doesn't affect me, it does affect you. It affects all of us. Now, for victims out there of domestic abuse, what are some things people should do when they're preparing to leave? You know, there, there are several things. And, and one, I would urge everybody to visit the National Resource Center, which is thehotline.org, and really get some good information. But how about getting some extra money, some keys, your legal documents? Put all that aside. If you can't hide it yourself because you're afraid your, your abuser may find it, yeah. give it to a trusted friend or family member. Create a code word, a word that if your abuser is near you, they can easily, you can say that code word and let somebody know, hey, I need to get out of there now. Yeah, and you said to even share that with children, you know, if you have kids in the home. A lot of good tips here on your screen. Uh, you know, we do want to show those hotline numbers. That's on the next full screen because I think that's so important to get out there. We have the national hotline number. You can see it there, 1-800-799-7233. And then the Tennessee Domestic Abuse Hotline number there, 1-800-356-6767. Stacy, thank you so much for being in here and sharing this information with us. Thank you for letting us share this with them. Of course. And you guys will notice Stacey's in purple on Thursday to raise awareness. You too can wear purple. Again, it's all about raising awareness and starting Definitely. that conversation. Thank you. Of course. Stacey, thank you as always. Stick with us after the break. We're going to have a final look at your forecast.